So huge congratulations to everyone that's got an offer. So for those that have accepted an offer, you know now where you're going to be. Your references have already been contacted. You can log into Oriel and check if they've all been returned. Okay. Um, what will happen over the next three, four, five, six weeks, it's different for each deanery, they all run their own different timelines, is that you'll be contacted and asked to make a start on various pre-employment checks. There'll be various forms to fill in. Um, they're going to give you forms to start doing a police check, the enhanced DBS, and lots of other bits of pre-employment information and checks. Okay, So keep an eye on your emails, keep an eye on your junk or spam folder, and then just follow the instructions. I will be holding a free webinar shortly to go through how to complete some of those forms and paperwork. Okay, So that's something really, really important is to watch out for that. But if you've accepted the offer, you don't need to do anything further now. You know where you're going to go. There are no more upgrades. So this is where you're going to be going. Congratulations. For those that are still on the waiting list, you've never received an offer at all up to this point, don't give up hope. You may still get an offer. There's no set deadline. There's no set end date. There are no more upgrades now. So anyone on the waiting list, if you get an offer now, you'll only have two options. Either accept it if you want that place or reject it if you don't want that place. But if you reject it, you won't get any more offers. That's it. Your application ends. You could always apply next time. Okay. If there are no jobs that are suitable in the areas you want in round two, you could wait till you know round one, 2023 August entry. The applications for that will open in November. The exam will be probably January 2023. Okay, For those that are going to reset in round two, the applications opened July 26th, and then the MSRA is from the 2nd to the 9th of September if you want to reset to try to improve your score. All right. So if you're on the waiting list, you might get an offer at any point throughout the rest of this month, possibly even in May. After the end of May, it, it becomes very, very unlikely that you'd get offers because there's not much time for the pre-employment checks. But also, most jobs are already full now, aren't they, at this stage? So it's only really now if someone that got an offer for the first time, they reject it, that will be offered to someone on the waiting list. Or sometimes someone has, uh, you know, pulls out for whatever reason. Some doctors, for example, they haven't got their GMC registration yet. They've sat PLAB and they're waiting for the result. And unfortunately, they failed. Well, they're no longer eligible now. You see, so now the offer will be offered to someone from the waiting list. So, you know, there will be some jobs that will still come up for those on the waiting list at some point over the next several weeks, uh, maybe even into May. All right. So, you know, don't give up hope. But if you don't get something, use this as a learning experience. Start working on preparation for next time. And hopefully you can improve your MSRA score, improve your rank and you get an offer, if not now, if not in round two, then, you know, in round one or when it's time for you to get your offer. Right, so you know, well done to everyone. I've popped a post into the um, main group. I've pinned it for people to share where they're going to be starting, so you can find each other um, and connect with other people that are going to be starting in the same place. Okay, so um, watch out for the link to the sort of next steps webinar, which will, where we'll cover some of that paperwork. I'll post that shortly once I set a date. So thanks very much, and well done, everyone.